I'm the cook in my family. My son is less than a year old. My husband doesn't even know where the stove is. So I'm really excited to just like sit back and let someone else cook for me yeah. today. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty. Nice. I mean, I mean, this looks so fancy. Yeah, it's a very nice yeah. presentation. That's gotta be the urchin. Megan, find the urchin! Like, this is my first time. <laughs> Hi, Kennedy and Rosie! Hi! So we did pistachio salmon and honey glazed carrots with garlic mashed potatoes. What was the hardest thing to cook, Kennedy? It was just, the time Hi. pressure was just, this was the, probably the hardest round. Hi, Eva and Jen. You wanna tell us about your dish? We made a creamy sea urchin risotto with a quillic hollandaise balsamic reduction with caviar. Amazing. Ava, how do you feel about the round? We just feel really confident in our dish. Good for you. Thank, Thank you, guys. You. Annika and Nanu. We made prawn scampi with homemade pasta and crunchy gremolata breadcrumbs. Have you made Ingrid hair before? Yes, but I learned it's very hard to make it for like so many people. So I think we took a little bit of a risk. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Annika and Anu's dish is very sophisticated. Everything on this plate, they made very it Very flavorful. Prawns are very easy to get wrong. They can yeah. become very rubbery, and this was perfectly done. And the pasta is well prepared. I love that little heat of spice to it. Prawns are the most important part, so that is very... A little bit boring. Yeah. What do we think about Kennedy and Rosie's salmon? Didn't shy away from the high-end ingredients, they actually highlight the pistachio and that beautiful honey. The salmon's perfectly cut. I do find the pistachio encrusted things to be a little 1980s, which is interesting because Kennedy was not alive at that point. No, she was not. <laughs> Between one to 10, what would you say we did? Eight. Even Jen's beautiful risotto, the rice is a little overcooked, but it's definitely something you would get in that Michelin star restaurant. And execution is not perfect, but I love these flavors. I would put this on a tasting menu Anytime. Wow. wow. I want to hear what your thoughts are since this is your first time with Urchin. This was yummy. Yay! The aftertaste was like, oh, I'm swimming in the sea. I think the flavors are really great. That was really delicious. I think we nailed it. Josiah, how old were you when you started to cook? I was about 12, peeling some carrots for extra money to go surfing. When I was that age, I was only eating things that were orange or beige. <laughs> it was just the thing I had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No judging, no judging over here. <laughs> we have five minutes. Mexico is perfect. I don't know what's wrong with this, but it's not good. My secret sauce, the base is always soy sauce and sriracha. I think it just needs more ketchup. But I'm gonna add a little bit more sriracha. I want like a flavor punch in your mouth. And then we have to put the lemon zest on top. Yeah. I just don't want it to melt. A minute and put the cilantro on. Your hands are shaking. You're gonna come in with the sauce? Yeah. I feel good. Do you want some ketchup in the sauce? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow. They're killing it. Kieran and Moy, do you want to tell us about your dish? I have a Kobe beef sushi bite. So it's a fried rice cake with fried kimchi and my secret sauce. How did you make the rice? We made sushi rice, cut it, and then we fried it in the pan. Feel good about this, Ram? Yeah. Ish. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, we confident. Our luxury ingredient was jamón de biota. So the main part is jamón wrapped sea bass. And then we had caviar on top, some arugula, and then we had a jamón romesco sauce. Thank, yeah, thank you. you. Hi, Brooke and Carol. We made a chilled lemon mousse with candied pistachios and a pistachio biscotti. You're the only one who made dessert. I wanted to stand out from everyone else. <laughs> really smart. Thank, thank you so you. much. Enjoy it. So what do we think of Brooke and Carol's lemon tart? I find biscotti really hard to make. I overcook mine. I love that there's a chewiness to this one. And I was like, this better be the best cookie of all times. And it was. <laughs> it was so good. I thought Jack and Bobby's hamon wrapped sea bass was cooked perfectly. The uh, hamon serrano, the way they wrapped it around the fish brought a really nice salt flavor. Yeah. To be that young and to understand that. Like, so focused. It's really, really genius. <laughs> <laughs> Here in a moist dish, I thought the rice was so crunchy, but not in a good way. That sriracha doesn't belong on the Kobe beef there, because everything you taste is that hot sauce. Just trust the Kobe beef. Right. It's gonna give you all the richness that you want. Oh, we got stressed beef in there, but yeah. it's okay. Still looks good. Okay, I got some truffle pieces to put on the top. I'm worried our dish is too simple, that we're not highlighting the truffle enough. We need to hurry. Yes, we do.